welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, before we get started with our mm -hmm. listings today, I've had a couple people stop me recently who have seen the show and they want to know exactly what your market is and where your offices are. So let's run through those before we go with the listings. Okay. Uh, we obviously have an office in Pike County because that's a lot of the listings, especially that we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. um, and then we go up and down the US 23 corridor. So we're Pikeville. Prestonsburg, Paintsville, and Louisa are where our offices are. Of course, we cover all of Eastern Kentucky with our agents, and then we actually are members of the Ashland Board and the Lexington Board. So anybody that has any property in those areas and they need some assistance and they want us to help on something, we definitely can do that. All right, and the quickest way to find any of their locations or their realtors or anything like that is through your website. Absolutely. That's the easiest way. If you have specific questions, there's a way on there that you can actually ask us questions and they uh, automatically go into the owner of the company and he can respond to them if, if you have specific questions. But that website is www.rbnw.com. All right, with and spelled out. It is. <laughs> All right. Now let's start with our first listing. Okay. And we've got some new ones today. We do. Um, but the first one let's talk about is one we've talked about before. Mm -hmm. And the reason is I see written right here in front of me, price reduction. Exactly. That's why we wanted to mention it again. Uh, we've actually talked about it a couple times on the show, but they did just do a fairly large price reduction. So mm -hmm. we wanted to go ahead and mention it again. And this is the one in just outside of the city limits of Pikeville uh -huh. at Boulders East. That's correct. Which that sits right off 119 right before uh, you connect to old 119 right there mm -hmm. and uh, it sits up on the hill it's a two-story house and we've discussed before this one has a lot of amenities it's got an in-ground pool some yard space a large patio and then the house of course is very nice which I sure I'm sure everybody can see in the pictures yeah the kitchen looks huge yes it which is, is great for gatherings holidays things like that absolutely and it's a very open first floor so your kitchen is open to your dining area which is open to a family room area that's got a fireplace and then all of that looks out on the backyard right so it's really nice now, you said 119, and most people in this area know that is Buckley's Creek. Correct. So if you turn off of 23 in the mm -hmm. Walmart intersection, you go up Buckley's Creek, you're going to get to the red light at the top of the hill. Right. Uh, where you can turn right and go back into Pikeville via Town Mountain Road. If you look left at that moment up on the hill, yep. that's where this house sits. Exactly, exactly. And one of the things you and I have talked about before is how deceiving Mm -hmm. The space is. You you can't tell when you're looking up how much flat space you have there. But if you're seeing the pictures, I mean, you've got a pool, an in-ground pool behind Correct. this home. Yes, an in-ground pool, and you still have yard space. A lot of people assume that when they see the in-ground pool that they're not going to have any yard space that goes along with the property. And you actually do. You have quite a bit of space back there. So you can take care of your pool and mow your yard. There you go. <laughs> a lot <laughs> of times the you work. give up the yard. <laughs> Um, but 2,500 square feet, mm -hmm. four bedrooms. This isn't a small home. It's not at all a small house. It's got a really good layout. The master bedroom is a very large master bedroom. Almost qualifies as a master suite, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, it does have an ensuite bathroom. So, it again, his and hers closets, it's got all of those amenities that you would want. And the uh, two-car garage. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you, you don't sacrifice anything with this home. You get it all. Exactly. So if you want to take a look at this one at Boulders East, give Jennifer a call. I'm assuming mm -hmm. these today are your listings. These are my listings today. So uh -huh. your phone number, let's go through that real quick. Okay, 606-437-2333. And again, we want to mention this one is reduced, and the new price is two sixty nine nine. dollars All right, and one zero five. 440 is that MLS number that gets you right to that listing that mm -hmm. much quicker. Absolutely. All right, now let's move just back on to 23 mm -hmm. and turn left. <laughs> and then you're going to be at Keezer Heights, which is where our next listing is. That's correct. And this one is a brand new listing and uh, a brand new house. So it's it's going to be a fun one to talk about. <laughs> and when we say brand new house, you're, you're seeing on the screen right now a drawing. Correct. <laughs> uh, that's how new it is. Yes. Yes. Uh, it's still under construction, but the good news is you say 30 to 45 days from being completely finished. Exactly. They're actually doing sheetrock right now. And, and if you're looking at the screen, Jennifer said to remember 
This house is actually flipped. The garage yes. is on the other side. Yes. Same same picture you're seeing, same layout, mm -hmm. but just flipped. Yeah, it's a flipped. It's a based on how the lot sat, it just made more sense to actually flip the house. So if you drive up and you want to look at where this property is and get an idea of what it's going to look like, just keep in mind when you're looking for it that the garage is actually going to be on the right side. All right. So let's go ahead and give them directions to this house. You, mm -hmm. you go up Keyser Heights. You can turn left or right. Yes. You're where do we do take for this a one? left? Okay. Okay. And then in the current way that everything's being built right now, there's other lots up past it, but this is the last house on the left currently. All right. 185 is the actual address mm -hmm. for this one. Exactly. And I think this is so neat because not very often we get to say brand new home. Mm -hmm. You're going to be the first person to have ever lived or slept in this home but they get this opportunity right now. Absolutely. And this is one that honestly, this could fit just about any buyer. This is a three bedroom, two bath house, um, a very open concept house. It's got a really nice large kitchen. The um, utility room, mud room, I'm actually a little bit jealous of myself. It's got a pantry in area in it. It is a huge utility mud room space. Great for storage right off the garage. Um, and then you also have three bedrooms that are very nice size bedrooms. So a lot of things you can do with a big or a small family. Exactly. So and, and all this brand new construction in mm -hmm. the city of Pikeville for under two hundred thousand dollars. Correct. One ninety nine nine on this house at Keyser Heights in Pikeville, and that MLS number is one zero five. 896. So mm -hmm. give Jennifer a call or let's run down your email address real quick. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this next listing is out of the city limits into the county a little bit and I mm -hmm. like it because it's almost five acres of property. Yes. And this one, it's in the county and it's kind of like the first one on Boulder's East. It's in the county but just barely. Like you can, you're, you're so close you can smell the city if you really wanted to. <laughs> and this one, we say it's it's a mile off of US 23 mm -hmm. at the mouth of Raccoon Creek up on the hill. Correct. Correct. So great location. You're mm -hmm. going to be out in the county. You've got that privacy feel, but you're within five minutes. Exactly. Of everything that Pikeville has to offer. Yes. And this area was actually, the property was actually divided out as almost like a subdivision. So you have five acres. It's got some restrictions on it, but it is five acres of almost complete privacy. You can see the down and mm -hmm. kind of see the road, but the road can't see you, one of those locations. So it's a really, really nice location if you like some privacy that is very convenient. And if you're, we've talked about gardening and all mm -hmm. the outdoor things that people like to do, when you can say you've got two acres flat mm -hmm. and that big of a yard, well, your, your mind can just go all kinds of places with what you can do with this property. Exactly, exactly. You have a lot of usable space um, and it's got a lot of outdoor amenities. You've got an above ground pool. They've got tons of storage. You've got, again, the yard space, a screen in porch. So you really have a lot of stuff that you can do. This is a, uh, it's a double wide home, but it has an attached garage, and then over the garage they actually have a finished bonus room that they added when they did it that's a nice rec room that's got a half bath with it. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so, again, this is at the mouth of Raccoon Creek. Mm -hmm. We're going to stress the location because I'd say in your business locations, a lot of why people buy a home. They, they're looking for a specific area or certain kind of conveniences. Exactly, exactly. And this one, you know, like I said, privacy and convenience is hard to come by. So this is definitely a good thing with it. With all the flat space and everything, this one's mm -hmm. one worth looking at. Absolutely. Two forty nine nine is the price on this one at the mouth of, I say Raccoon Creek, but I want to say the mouth of Raccoon because yeah. Raccoon can go miles and miles and miles. Right. So this one's very close. Uh, 2119 there. 105876 is that MLS number, so give Jennifer a call or shoot her an email. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be going over both of those numbers and addresses throughout the show. All right, the next one, let's stay in Pike County okay. a little bit farther out. We're kind of venturing out of the city <laughs> limits of Pike. Well, now this one's on Long Fork. This is. This is Long Fork at Virgie. It's actually on Marshall's Branch, um, which is off of Long Fork. You're about six miles up Long Fork, if, for those that are familiar with Virgie. Um, and it's not very far at Marshall's Branch at all. If you're in that area, it's actually a very convenient location, very easy to find, very mm -hmm. easy to get to. It actually is on the system as a two bedroom, but it has the possibility of being a four bedroom depending on how you wanted to use the house. So another one that a new buyer can come in and say, well, 
this is great the way it is, but mm -hmm. I've got the opportunity to make it how I want it to be. Exactly, and this one is perfect for that. To be honest, it's in great condition. There's, there's really, if you didn't want to do anything, I don't think you would really have to, you know, mm -hmm. assuming that inspections and all that kind of stuff came back well, but just on the surface, they've actually taken very, very good care of it, but you have a blank slate if you wanted to do things. And, you know, Looking at this house, you think, wow, it looks like an older home, but when you talk about how well it's been kept up mm -hmm. and everything that comes with it, and then you look at the bottom of what's on your screen, you see the price. Right. To think that you're getting all that in a house that you can change if you want to, mm -hmm. but you don't have to for under $65,000, no, that's not a typo. That's really what this house is listed for. Exactly, exactly. And again, it sits on a very nice lot. It's a flat lot, so if you want, you're into gardening, if you want to add storage, and there are no restrictions when you get out in the county. So even if you wanted to do another house next to you or something mm -hmm. like that for a larger family, you have the room to do that. So a lot of possibilities mm -hmm. for a very low price. Exactly. It's so a good price for this I house. would bet this would be one that wouldn't last long. I, I hope not. Well, <laughs> of course, we'll you're see. in your line of business, no. <laughs> but the, the MLS number on this one is 105920, uh, and that's the one that you can just say on Long Fork, a mm -hmm. Marshall's branch of Long Fork of, Long Fork. of Virgie. Correct. That's how you know you're in Eastern Kentucky. <laughs> uh, 64.9 on that one, so mm -hmm. that one probably won't last long. Give Jennifer a call. Now let's end the show with a commercial piece of property. Mm -hmm. It's actually a building that you could do just about anything you wanted in. Exactly. And this one, uh, you, you mentioned location before. This mm -hmm. one, the title should be just location, 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 because it's, it's in a great spot. But um, this is a commercial building located in the city limits, or right on the city limits of Pikeville, and this is at the mouth of Lycans Creek. So if you come across the Helen Brown Bridge and, mm -hmm. and you're going to go to Thompson Road, which mm -hmm. accesses the new shopping center, uh, Walmart, and that area, I think if you get right across the railroad tracks, you can almost see it as soon as you come across the tracks. You may be able to see it from Thompson Road. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people are going to see that and go, I've seen that building before. Yes. <laughs> if you've gone to the Pike County Animal Shelter or anything mm -hmm. like that, you've driven right by it. Correct. And this is, it's pretty much warehouse space. That's, you know, concrete floor. Uh, it is a metal uh, steel frame building. So, you know, it, it has the possibility of being anything that you would want it to be. Now, you do have some office space. There's about 400 square feet of office space that has heating and cooling and that kind of stuff in it. It's got a bathroom. And that's the bonus. Yeah, and that's it's the bonus. Because it's not just a building that you're going to say, well, I'm going to use this as my warehouse. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of, if you put your mind to it, there's a lot of different business types that you could do to where you've got your storefront or mm -hmm. you've got your office space there, heating and cooling, 400 square feet, and then you can warehouse everything in one building. Absolutely. So many times a business, that's one of the challenges they mm -hmm. have, is they'll have their storefront or their business in one location, but to access everything that they have stored and warehoused, it's another rental. Mm -hmm. It's another piece of property they have to buy that's driving to get to it. All this is in one big building. If you're looking for storage for anything over that way, anything like that, this is a great, great location for you. It, it's a metal building with a steel frame, so mm -hmm. it's sturdy, uh, concrete flooring. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't really have to do anything into this one except move in. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> that sounds appealing to me, and I think a lot of wheels are turning. Not just on this listing, though. I think on a lot of the listings we've mentioned today. But before we get out of this one and mm -hmm. get to your real estate minute, let's talk about the price on this one. Mm -hmm. One thirty-nine five. That's correct. So yeah, commercial properties don't come this. Mm -mm. I don't want to say cheap. But this inexpensive yeah. very often. Yeah. And this sits on an acre of property. And then the great thing with this one is they actually have more property available. So if you wanted more than that one acre of property, you could probably negotiate in an mm -hmm. extra half acre, an acre, or whatever you needed for your purpose. Another blank slate. Exactly. To do what you want with. <laughs> 105897 um, on this one. But like I said, all of these that we've done today are Jennifer's listings. Uh, let's go through your email address and your phone number real quick. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com, and the phone number is 606-437-2333. And, of course, everything we've mentioned today and more can be found mm -hmm. on their website, which is rbnw.com. <laughs> All right, I'm going to step out, and it's time for your Real Estate Minute. Today's real estate market is ever-changing, and at times, a very challenging environment. Many potential home buyers are confused about current residential financing choices. 
For example, FHA is the most popular financing choice in today's market, but changes effective June 1st of this year have some buyers wondering what the current property requirements are. If you're a veteran, did you know that you can use your VA benefits more than once to buy an owner-occupied home? Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Service agents are well versed in current FHA, VA, Kentucky housing, secondary market, conventional, and other residential property financing options. Red Brown and Williams staff can find the perfect home for your family and can advise you on possible financing options based on various requirements. Call Ray Brown and Williams today to allow our staff to provide professional real estate services to you and your family. Thank you.